I'm Richard Southern at the shops of Don Mills inside a Starbucks, but this is different than any Starbucks you've ever seen. It's called the Reserve Bar. This is not a Starbucks where you get in, get your coffee and get out. They want you to stay a while, hence the bar. The 3,200 square foot reserve bar is twice the size of a regular Starbucks. It's the first one in Toronto and only the third in Canada. In addition to your regular Starbucks brew, this location serves up rare, hard to find Java. Starbucks is trying to differentiate themselves by putting on a bit of a show. You take a seat at the bar, they pour you a flight of coffee like you get a flight of beer, and you try some rare brew. And it's seasonal, right? And so when you think of the scale of our coffee production, these are really small lot farmed coffees where we have a small batch, limited amount of it, and we get to really showcase its amazing flavor profiles, things that we can't do on a larger scale. It does take longer to make because the baristas use different innovative methods. And it costs more, as much as $6 a cup for the rare stuff. Six bucks coffee? I would not pay six bucks for a coffee. Too much for you? Too much. You just want to get in and get out type yeah. of thing? <laughs> but industry experts think it's going to fly. Ten years ago, we said we'd pay seven bucks for a hamburger. People would get all excited and even a coffee. So I think that's where the pricing strategy is going. It's all about the experience and the quality. This is a big upsell, isn't it? This is a big upsell at this point in time. But again, you know, five years down the road, six dollar coffee may be the norm. It's not just Starbucks trying to make an extra buck or two. It's about trying to survive in Canada's extremely competitive coffee landscape. We consume over 3 billion cups on an annual basis, and the growth is coming from the specialty beverages. So this is just another example of moving to that upscale high-end coffee experience. Are they trying to take a shot at Tim Hortons here? I mean, Tim's offering uh, maybe a more, you know, regular type of coffee. There's a little bit of scandal at the company. Is this Starbucks maybe trying to take advantage? I think they're always aware of what's going on at Tim Hortons and McDonald's because of the competitive nature. Starbucks won't say how many more of these reserve bars are planned for Canada, but this is a concept they're betting big on. They're planning a thousand locations throughout the U.S. At the shops of Don Mills, having a latte. Richard Southern City News.